one in the all. The Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the soul of Regina Anderson. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with y'all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last in life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned St. Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Circle, he said, 
Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Here I am, I've come to do your will. It sounds so easy, but living it out is a little different. Why? Because we have lost this uh, innate connection quite often. It is when you think about it, for all eternity, you and I, we were in the mind of God. We were always there, for all eternity. And at one point of time, He started to create, and that mind which He had, He took us and put us into creation. So there was a family in which we participated, a family of love, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We are being sent into this world and we are being given a father and mother, another family. And we start to grow up in a family, but we baptize into the family of the church. So we are always committed into a family, a family of God. And then as we have children of our own, we start to bring them into the family. And then when we are finished with the life on earth, we are going to go back home to our family in heaven. So it's always, we are never alone, we are always in communion with someone. And once we see that, that it doesn't matter where we are in this world, we can be at home because, well, first of all, if there's a Catholic church there, we know Jesus is there, and if Jesus is there, we have connection with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and through that, we have come to contact with the church community, the local community, so we are never alone. It's always a good thing to know that. And to, just to show this today, we have the same thing same within Titus, martyrs, of course. They were companions of St. Paul, and St. Paul calls them my sons. So there's you know, only a family relationship. They were so wonderful and so good to work with. There's good family members and there's not so good ones, and he had a checkbook with this one. And uh, well, anyway, he happened to go to uh, uh, Asia Minor, and there he found a lady and her mother and a young boy. And the young boy, the mother was Jewish, and the grandmother was Jewish, but, and the boy was also Jewish, but the husband of the mother was a pagan. So the boy was raised in the Jewish faith, and when St. Paul comes now and teaches about Jesus Christ and how he fulfills all the Old Testament, well, all of a sudden they're bound over it, and they take to it like a fish to water. So, after several years, he came back, and he found that this young boy had been living very austere because he loved Jesus and he wanted to emulate Jesus. And he saw this guy has promises, so he took him with him, made him a priest, and then they traveled about all over the place. And then eventually he was sent to Ephesus, and there Timothy became the bishop, a young bishop. That's why St. Paul gives him his instruction how to be a good bishop, even though you're young. Never mind you being young. You have the power of God. You're the father now of this community, and you take care of them. And he was a little sickly, this little, little Timothy. So he wrote, well, and once in a while, take a little, you have a little nip. Take a little wine with your dinner, and it will be good for your stomach. So one day, as he was out there, the uh, Diane, the goddess Diane, was very big in Ephesus. And so they had a big celebration of Diane, you know, the love God. Goddess. So Timothy went out there, stop, don't do this, this is idol worship, come to the true God. And somebody didn't like that. Hmm. They took up stone and they killed him, they stoned him to death. So he breathed his laugh and went back into the heavenly family. Titus, Titus was from Greece originally, and he was a little bit more outspoken, he was a little bit more forceful. But him and St. Paul hit it off right, and they traveled together back and forth, and they stayed in touch with letters. So eventually, uh, he was sent to Cyprus, and there he ministered quite a bit, and uh, led people to the Lord. And uh, he was, uh, at the end of his life, we know that he happened to go to Dalmatia, which is a Yugoslavia area, um, former Yugoslavia, and then he came back to Cyprus, and there too he was killed for his faith. So, this is a <clears throat> family like daddy, so the children, the father got killed, St. Paul got killed, and the children also got killed. And our Lord got killed, but he got killed by those who opposed him. And so when Jesus sitting amongst all the people around him, and uh, Mary and his uh, disciples coming around, they have no way to get into it because there's so many people around him. 
He says, come out, we want to talk to you. And so it's not that he's uh, degrading his mom and dad because he says, whoever does the will of my father is my brother and mother. So his mother was, of course, the best disciple there is, so it's not a derogatory thing. But he says, it is faith is deeper than blood. Faith that we are being given in baptism, we have to nurture that. And once we nurture it, we find that it is deeper. So for that reason, because we have this faith that we can go to one church to another, Catholic church to this, and the same faith is being taught, or ought to be taught. And so we have this one family. So we all know what is expected of us. We all know what to do in this family. And it's a beautiful uh, way of living because we know we are never alone. Come hell or high water, the family of God is always there. Sometimes we are tough, sometimes we are being persecuted. But the family of God goes steadily. How many countries, there is the church has to go underground, but it is their bond of family that keeps them going. And family, because Jesus Christ is in their midst, through the Eucharist and through the indwelling for those who are in the state of grace. So we have this one community of faith, this one loving community, who wants and desires to nothing else but go to go back to the source where we came from, not just in the mind of God, but now being fully grown up in the Spirit of God and taking our seat in the heavenly kingdom. There will be this one huge family, zillions of angels, zillions of saints, and with each and every one of us, we can communicate with them. It's not like on earth you go to a party and all of a sudden you don't know anybody, oh, what shall I do, stand there, don't say anything. Not so in heaven. In heaven, you see other people, you see their glory, you see what they've accomplished. There's always something to talk about. And each one carries a spark of God within them so that heaven is so beautiful. So you see God's working in each one of heaven differently. But it is all this one family of God, and we rejoice forever with our Lord in heaven. Father Almighty, thanks and praise to you today, now and always. We pray, have mercy upon our country. Don't forget us in our need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our, those who are giving their life for Christ, being persecuted and killed for the faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have, uh, are about to leave this world, that you be with them. And those who are in purgatory, have mercy and send aid to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And then petitions you have today. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father Almighty, we know that you love us and you care for us, and so we thank you now. Draw us home to our homeland to be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands have become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus, and in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are what wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ of the Lord. Amen. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are holy and glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts here brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you become man. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, <clears throat> and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving his holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May you make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, you blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saints Timothy and Titus, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Benedict the Sixteenth, our Pope Emeritus, Don Lord Bishop, and the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. This embrace you to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing during the passing of this life, give kind of admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. See this command and form of a teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
let us pray. May the sacrament we have received the Lord our God nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of Saints Timothy and Titus through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Mighty God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, come upon and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, be our angel, be our best in God, be our protection against the wickedness of the sinners of the world. May God be with you. Pray for us. Holy, holy angels and saints. Pray for us. May the divine assistance.